Well, the 5th Congressional District may be the state's most hotly contested race. Incumbent Democratic Congresswoman Johanna Hayes is facing a major challenge from her Republican rival George Logan. Hayes leads this race, but as you can see, only by a razor-thin margin. And at this point, it is still too close to call, too early to declare a winner. But to break down the details of where this race sits right now, we're joined by Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones. She's live in Waterbury this morning. So good morning, Marcy. And both candidates must be on pins and needles this morning. Absolutely. That's definitely correct. Good morning. Well, as you mentioned, very close, according to the Associated Press at last check, Hayes has a 4,200 lead over Logan. However, that is such a small margin that right now nobody is declaring victory. It's not surprising that in Connecticut's most politically balanced district, Congressional, the race for that seat is extremely close. During her campaign, Hayes, a Democrat gunning for her third term, has put an emphasis on helping pass the American Rescue Plan. Logan, on the other hand, says that what Hayes has been doing in her previous terms is simply not enough and that it's time for Republicans to occupy that seat. Both have heavily prioritized the topics of inflation and abortion, where Hayes says that she would codify Roe v. Wade, while Logan says that that decision should ultimately be left up to the individual states. Both candidates remain optimistic. It's not going to be by a landslide, I told you, right? It's going to be by the shortest of margins. We are looking good. We have not gotten all the results, so it's way too early to declare victory. But I'll just say, no, let, let, me, let me just say to you, the rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> The name of the game right now is patience. It's really hurry up and wait. As soon as we get any updates, we'll bring that to you on air, online, and on our Channel 3 app. Reporting live in Waterbury, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.